Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just filmed a video and changed my shirt for interest because I had time to now film what is in my newest little Chanel bag. I'm also gonna be sharing the different ways that you can wear this bag. Also give you guys dimensions of this bag. I have a little ruler in my hand. I know this video is definitely time sensitive because we don't know how many are left in the company and all of that. So hopefully I get this up at a good time for you guys. And I'm super excited that a few of you guys sent me pictures showing me that you got it because of my video that makes me feel really special because this bag was totally overlooked i am going to be repeating information from my original unboxing video or reveal video because so many of you guys actually asked me questions that i answered in that video but i knew it was because you skipped through the entire story time and just wanted to see what the bag looked like which is perfectly fine but we are going to repeat some information so you guys don't forget it and at least the bag is going to be in the screen the whole time so you guys could see it and you know what bag i'm talking about bobbity bloop so this baby is from the 20c collection 2020s cruise collection and i definitely think it was overlooked because it came out around the time that everything happened in the world so nobody was really paying attention i don't think so to chanel's bags anyways i saw this unboxed on youtube i didn't even see it you know from chanel or anything like that and i fell in love i thought it was like the perfect combination of what i wanted in a small little black and gold chanel bag it has a top handle it has a flap it has a turn lock it has a chain it has a comfortable little piece in the center here it's like a trendy cc a business affinity and a rectangular mini with a top handle it had a little baby i said that in the last video too but it's true it's like they all had a little perfect perfect baby simple and perfect and then the features on it are perfect as well at least for my situation and my preference so the leather is a kind of like an iridescent calfskin so it kind of have has a little bit of a sheen sometimes it looks navy sometimes it looks dark gray depending on the picture or the lighting or the filter that i put on my picture i don't know um it does feature a top handle it goes forward it goes back has a thinner strap than the rectangular minis keep that in mind which i really love i think it's I don't know it's a little bit delicate but it also balances out with the color of the hardware which i'll talk about in a second features the leather strap in between the chain which is very comfortable to wear on your shoulder and makes the weight of the chain not really like dig into you at all one thing i want to mention that i i don't know if i mentioned this or not but this bag is extremely extremely lightweight with nothing in it like very lightweight and i love that not that a mini bag even if a mini bag was heavy which my rectangular mini is pretty heavy for the size i mean how heavy can a mini bag get trust me after a while it could get annoying but this bag's very very lightweight and i love 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 that so like i said the hardware color is kind of like an antiqued hopefully this is going to come up on camera but it's like an antiqued gold which I love because you don't have to really worry about scratches or it tarnishing because it's the nature of the look already. Does that make sense? So even if you do get a scratch on it or if it tarnishes a little bit, you might not notice it because it already kind of has that vibe. Um, same thing with the leather. It's a calf skin, so it's definitely a lot thicker and more durable than lambskin. I know a lot of people will argue and say lambskin's durable. Not all lambskin is made equal. Not all leather is made equal. Let me just put it that way, okay? Sometimes lambskin depending on the season or the way it was dried and dyed and all of that, the air and everything. I, I know these things because of my past job. We worked really, really closely with factories in Italy. It could, you know, the leather is different. Sometimes people might get a lambskin bag that's a lot more durable than another lambskin bag. That's why you might see a lot of lambskin bags on the pre-loved market when it comes to Chanel, especially vintage ones that look way more beat up than usual. Or, I mean, obviously wear, you have to take in consideration the wear and the way they took care of it. But it's just the truth. I'm more worried about a lambskin bag than not i probably would have still gotten this bag if it's lambskin just because it's just so dang cute but it really sold me when i found out it was calfskin um it's just nice to know that i don't have to worry so so much about it anyways the bag is just simple on the side it has two pouches which i'll show you in this in a second no feet on the bottom no pocket on the back i did get a couple questions it's so weird that so many people ask this and i didn't really think to talk about it or even know until they asked but this bag is top like front heavy sorry so a lot of people ask me does this bag fall forward when you put it up depending on how much weight is in the bag this bag will fall forward sometimes if i have my phone in it which i do now it'll sit up it'll sit upright depending if you angle it correctly but that was such a weird random question that i didn't think of so shout out to the people that dm me on instagram for that that's a great 
thing to know and note if it is empty completely or if you have very little things it'll fall forward so maybe keep it on a hook or lay it on its back when you're out or just have it on your body i don't know if you're like at a restaurant whatever you prefer but just keep that in mind so let's go into the inside it's just a single flap i have it pretty stuffed this is what i carry in it on a normal daily basis i'll show you guys a couple more things what do i have with me i'll show you guys a couple more examples of what could probably fit in here um but it is a single flap it does feature the chanel engraved can you guys see that chanel engraved on the back of the plat plate right there and then it has the two cc's on the back of that the strap is not adjustable but i'll show you different ways that you could wear it and like I said, it has the two pockets and then it does have a slip pocket back here. And I'll show you more of the interior once I go through what fits. Quickly, let's do the dimensions of this bag. Lengthwise, it is seven inches. I'm, I'm gonna just measure it on camera really quickly to make sure. Seven inches and the height is five inches. And the width with, you know, just the two pockets, I think it's two and a half. Yeah, it's about two and a half, right? Yeah, it's about two and a half. Do keep in mind though, because there is a pocket, you know, a leather piece separating the two pockets, it is going to take up some of the room in case you are like, you know, a pro at knowing dimensions for bags. And then for the pockets separately, I'm just gonna measure the back pocket depth is one and a half. And then the front pocket is a little less than a half an inch. I would say in about a half an inch in the front and the drop on the handle strap right here is two and a half it doesn't look like two and a half it looks like more and honestly it fits on my wrist that was another question i got doesn't go all the way down but if this is a comfortable like i carry it like this all the time just on my wrist like that or my arm and then the drop for the strap length is i think 21 21 yeah, 21 inches for the strap length. And then I'm gonna quickly show you guys how I wear this. I'll put it on me really quickly. So you can wear it long ways like this, just on your shoulder. So you can wear it long ways on your shoulder and it hits me right, hmm, hits me right at my hip. And then cross body wise, it's super comfortable. I'm 5'7", okay? I'm gonna actually stand on this chair really quick so you guys can see put my knees up on it so you could see where it hits this is very awkward but I can't push this back any further because I have a bunch of junk behind the camera okay so you can kind of see where it hits long cross body wise which I love this is my probably my favorite way to wear it it's super comfortable and then another way you can do it which is a very trendy poop way to wear it right now because shoulder bags are all the rage that vintage shoulder bag look which I love is, sorry, I didn't even show you what I did. I crisscrossed the chain. So let's redo that. So you just open the flap, do one side this way, one side this way, and you just cross it, and then you just put it on your shoulder, and it's a little shoulder bag. So cute, right? Love. And then this is what it looks like and you're sort of just carrying it like that. It has like a shorter chain. I like wearing it like this. I'm not gonna lie though, it does kind of worry me the weight of the chain pulling on the flap, especially with it fully packed like this, but for, I guess, pictures or for like a night out and you only have like a very, very little in here, it, it's really cute. So that's the different ways you can wear the chain. Let's quickly go over my lip liners coming out quickly go over what I have in the bag so I just have my lip liner sort of sitting on the top here depending on what lip liner I have this one is I haven't really used it too too much so it's still kind of long so it has to fit up here some lip liners I have are like really short and nubby so I'll, I can put them up put in put them in here like this um, but anyways I have the KKW beauty icon lip liner that I'm wearing right now love that with this lip combo actually with the Jason Wu lipstick I have this sitting up in the front pocket like this and this is in the color biscotti love this lipstick and then topped off with my rosy future lip gloss from Revlon you guys know this an all-time favorite of mine holy grail this was just sitting in the back like that and then in the back 
I have my Purell, little mini hand sanitizer, my car keys, keys, and my clay. You guys know my Louis clay is my wallet, so keep that in mind. I don't have like a full-size wallet in here at all. Have that back here, and then my phone. I have the 11 Pro Max with a very cracked screen you can see you can see cleo's picture on there but you can see how cracked my screen is we need to get that fixed and then back here is so it's just a pocket and then back here is a little slot for cards and then in the front pocket i don't have much i had the jason Wu lipstick and then some gum sometimes like if i don't need my car keys i'll remove my clay and just have my clay in here and that could just sit in the front slot slot right here oh i also have this in here too I have eyelash extensions so keeping a spoolie on me is very important so that's what fits in here and i will say 90 percent of the time i don't really carry my phone in my bag not gonna lie it's usually in my butt pocket of my jeans it's just easy access so i'm gonna show you guys what this looks like with just basically everything except my phone and then also show you different combinations so here's my keys and my clay i haven't done a video like this in so long this is like a little nostalgic for me um my purell i'm gonna put since my lip glosses i don't have my phone in here i'm gonna put all my lip products just sort of in the back because it fits and then where is my gum at okay and then my gum right here so i'll show you guys what that looks like so much room without my phone it's very weird how much more room you have so i also have a pair of sunglasses just to show you obviously without my phone this shouldn't be an issue these sunnies are a little bit more narrow and small and they're cheapy sunglasses from like urban so i don't really care if they don't have a case just threw them in here and all fits and closes nicely and cute now if i were to take my sunglasses out and maybe I'm going to take out the lip products just for now so I can test something and show you guys. So I, right now I just have my keys, my clay, my hand sanitizer, and my gum. I'm going to take this little pouch. You guys know, I'm, I've talked about this. I've been waiting to find a pochette, a mini pochette, but I kind of don't really want to buy one anymore because I don't really know. I have this little cute um, patent red little pouch that I use as like a junk little catch-all. Uh, but I am kind of missing the mini pochette. I sold it and didn't realize that they were hard to get. Anyways, this is kind of comparable to a mini pochette, so keep that in mind. It's not exact, but this does fit in the back here. But it's going to take up that same room that my phone did and a little bit more because it's puffy. So hold on one second. I don't really like my keys floating around in here like this so much. I do, I should get a cover for my keys so they're not scratching, but you could see it like that. And this is without the lip products. Closes perfectly fine. Let's see with my gloss. Is this gonna fit in here? Probably. Yeah, my gloss fits in there perfect. Jason Wu in the front, do you fit? I don't know if this is gonna close very well. And then here's my lip liner. So that pouch really did just sorta make up for the space that my phone did. This is very wonky. See how this is like, like weird? don't like that at all not from the lipstick but i could put the lipstick in the back laying down on the top much better much much better so there's that combo and then if we take out the little pouch again so this is everything that i normally take this is exactly what i take and usually my phone is in my pocket see how much room i have it's just great. It's great. I mean, I say that like this is a giant tote bag. How much room I have? You guys, for me, this is perfect. The size is perfect. If I need to take more with me, it's usually just in Cleo's diaper bag, but it's very, very rare. I do not have a lot of stuff with me constantly. If I am carrying a bigger bag, like my bum bag, because the space is there, I'm going to have random things in there, like hair clips and hair ties and probably more makeup and three pairs of sunglasses is like so unnecessary you know so this is my bare minimum but it's all i really need with me so i hope you guys found this video helpful i really wish there was a video like this out before i bought this um before i bought this bag highly recommend it yeah so just keep in mind that these are probably going to pop up on the pre-lived market but this does retail for 3100 dollars. i never really wanted to say the price but 
It retails for $3,100. So if you can get it in the boutique and avoid the markup, um, I highly, highly recommend it, but it's also way, way less than rectangular minis and square minis and stuff like that. And even the rectangular mini with the top handle. This is like pretty much the same thing, but in my opinion, I think a little bit more interesting and a little bit more like chic. I love how the rectangular mini with the top handle though is like very, very simple. And they just literally put a top handle in a rectangular mini. I'm just not a fan of the caviar this season. I don't like how it looks sparkly, but it looks gorgeous on other people. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully I didn't miss anything and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.